this is Cornwall, and um, this is the Isles of City Historic Environment map that um, we've created that holds um, all of the data sets that we can make available so far. Uh, it's in a constant state of being developed, um, so more things will be added as we're able to. Um, we're hoping that tide mapping will be added quite shortly as the next kind of big step for us, if you like. Um, and hopefully that will come on in the next two weeks, which hopefully will help with this process as well. Um, now, obviously, this is all of Cornwall. Um, and as I said, the Isles are silly. For our purposes, um, I'm going to look at Red Roof. So the search function is the first of the tabs over here. This is Trelay, it's near Mount Ambrose, as mentioned previously. And our, our kind of search area just, or survey area, just, just clips the edge of here. Um, so the area I'm interested in is here. So I'm going to bring up the base mapping layer. So once you found your place, get rid of that because it just gets right in the way. Um, this is the base mapping layers. So we've got multiple base mapping layers. Um, this is where tide mapping will eventually appear down at the bottom there. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to work back, kind of work back through time. And the area I'm kind of looking at really is this area here. So this is Cardra mm. Industrial Estate. Mm, and yeah. this, I'm not sure what this is, but this is all quite newly developed, obviously some form of warehousing as well. Um, I normally come in on the train here and I'm not sure that you can quite see how extensive that is from anywhere. I was quite surprised when I looked at it. Anyway, so that's there, but if you, I'd like you to focus on this area here. So there's the church there and just below it is this old rectory. Um, so if we go back to before, so if we go back from 2016, we can go to turn these on. We we'll go back, and you can see this site's being developed. And then back in 2000, you can see that basically what you've got is a quite nice church with its quite nice vicarage and its quite nice associated graveyard. And then gradually, development is expanding out of Redruth, which is you know unfortunately inevitable everywhere at the moment it seems. What's interesting here is if you put on the first edition ordnance survey and if we just fade down the 2000 mapping you can see that the field systems have stayed the same pretty much since 1875 and so you would think potentially that these buildings were in some way protected. Now fortunately they're not. So looking back at list of buildings again we do listed buildings in a slightly different way to Historic England. Historic England create a single point, or I think they do it slightly differently at the moment, but certainly for a while they just created a single point. Um, we've always taken that point and then adapted it to give more of a kind of impression of um, what the buildings are actually like. So this is our equivalent of the point. Right. And you can see that there's nothing grade one, there's nothing grade two star, but there is the grade two church, but the vicarage has got nothing on it at all. So for me, this, this property is something that I'd be quite interested in. Um, as much as anything, I like it because when you look at the 2016 mapping, you can see that it is a kind of an island that hasn't been developed. And I think in some ways that's what we're looking for in Red Reef as well, but on a smaller scale. Um, so the simple things you can do with this. First off, you can go and have a look. So I'm not going to load the street view because I tried it earlier and I got it in the wrong place. So I'll save it. But this street view icon here, if you click and drag on the ground, this street, it brings you up this. And so there you can see the vicarage, which is a lovely building or was. I'm not sure what Matthew would say about the windows, but certainly the chimneys are lovely. There's all kinds of detail. The ridge is great and the roof is in amazing condition. I'm also quite liking this little building here. So both of for the, for me personally, these would both be things. I think this would be a locally listed asset, almost definitely. And this I would still want on the historic environment record. If we just move over here a little bit. And we can see that. That's a lovely building. It's obviously got old origins. It's been reused and messed about with. It wouldn't be suitable for listing at all, but it's very much part of the environment that it's in. So 
beyond that, we can't really tell much because it's hidden behind this wall, unless you do a bit of Googling. So a little bit of Googling found me the property history. There's a lot of detailing still left in the building, even though the windows are quite entertaining. I'm not too concerned about the feature in the garden itself, but if you look behind it, that's a lovely bit of wall with its capping. Now, whether that's original or not, I'm not sure. Anyway, so it's very easy to find further information about buildings of this type. And that's the kind of added detail, I guess, that we're looking at. 